it's a collaboration in reduction of emissions and we have an announcement to make this morning. One of the more exciting measures that reduces flight time and saves fuel and reduces emissions is the introduction of what we call performance-based navigation, or PBN. PBN takes the best that aircraft flight management systems and global navigation satellite systems, such as GPS, have to offer and bundles these capacities into a global set of navigation standards called PBN. <clears throat> With PBN, aircraft can fly anywhere in the world, where the flight paths are straight, great circle, or curved. In and out of airports, aircraft can navigate around obstacles and terrain with great precision. PBN's enhancements to safety is significant, as even airports located in the most challenging environment do not need to install or calibrate or monitor expensive ground-based navigation aids. Yesterday, you heard a reference to PBN by Air Services Australia, who have been working with Qantas to develop PBN procedures into Brisbane Airport. In the first year, Qantas's 737s made over 1,600 approaches with enormous, enormous savings. The reduction of 17,000 nautical miles flown, 200,000 kilograms of fuel burned, and 650,000 kilograms of CO2 saved. That, ladies and gentlemen, is significant, and it is one reason why Kunzo is so supportive of PBN. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite the partners of the PBN task force to come forward in order to make everybody aware of the success of implementing, implementing PBN. Please.